Welcome to CATS Tutorials and in this video we're going to be doing practice problem 2.2. So we have a current source of 3 milliamperes and a resistance of 10 kilo ohms and we are asked to find the voltage, the conductance and the power associated with this resistive element. So let's start with finding the voltage. So we know that V is equal to IR and we are given the current. So this current source, its, its value is the same as I because this current source is in series with this. So this current flows all the way, passes through this element, and just like that. So this is the only current present in the circuit, and it flows into that. So that is the value of I in this formula, as we are calculating the voltage. So I has a value of 3 milliamperes, which is 3 times 10 to the minus 3. And we take this value of 10 kilo ohms, which is R, the resistance. So 10 kilo ohms, which is 10 to the 3. So if you just punch this into a calculator, you just simply see that this and that cancels out. So you're only left with 3 times 10 which is 30 volt. Next, we are going to find the conductance. And conductance G is simply the reciprocal of resistance. So what you do is you just plug in the value of the resistance, which you're given 10K. And the answer is 100 is um, 100 times 10 to the minus 6, which is equivalent to this notation, micro Siemens. As conductance is measured in Siemens. So this is your answer for conductance. Finally, we're supposed to find the power associated with this circuit. So power is equals to V I, or power is equals to I squared R. In a test situation, if you aren't quite sure about your values, which you just calculated, if you aren't sure about the V, which you calculated here, and the i, the i is quite obvious. But if you aren't sure about the v, which you just calculated here, you shouldn't use this formula. Rather use this because you have all the info given to you. And you'll find the correct, at least you'll find the correct answer for the power. So using the second formula, you'd say 3 times 10 to the minus 3 squared multiply the, by the value of the resistance, which is that. And this should give you, um, so that cancels out and goes twice. And just simply punch that into your calculator. And the value which you're going to get will be 90 times 10 to the minus 3, which is equal to 90 milliwatts. Now, if you are sure about your answers, and using the first formula, you should get the same answer. So P is equal to VI, and the calculated V was 30. So 30, then the value of the current is 3 times 10 to the minus 3. And you just say 30 times 3, which is 90 times that. So 90 times 10 to the minus 3, which is 90 milliwatts, which is exactly the same as using the second formula.